Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you my small digital collection of frames which I created. Uh, they will be on Etsy and this video will be linked on the Etsy with the listing of these frames. And I'm coming to share with you how you can use them in your journals. So uh, once you will fussy cut out, I will use one of them, a few of them. Once you will fussy cut out those frames, you can also cut out the inside images and that will give you beautiful window, the slots for posting the picture inside and then you can uh, just manage it as an extra pocket uh, in your journals. You can totally distress it uh, to make it dark and then it's entry from here and I think I just slide it too far. <laughs> oh, here I didn't put ah. Here I didn't place the acetate piece, so I can go from both sides. I can go from here with bigger picture, or I can just slide the picture behind. And I do have also frames with acetate piece, so then I will glue it on all four sides, because here I do have entry. And you can decorate it with your stamps, with labels, you can make it totally decorate it with anything you want you can emboss part of these frames or you can uh, add it there the cheesecloth underneath and make it like dimensional decoration in your journals so today i'm gonna grab some of them there is sheet where are those inside uh, photos there is sheet with those nature style uh, inside tags then is sheet with the hot air balloons, those inside tags and frames around. There is one sheet with booklets, which I will use today as well. And there is also a sheet with plain, this color, plain frames like this, like booklets. So you can use them as a booklet. Or today I will show you how to make extra uh, pocket, which you can just put to the pocket in your journal. So I've got here these two. These uh, I'm gonna use like a one like a booklet and one I will create extra pocket. And I have printed this one on 170 GSM paper. It's nice gramage. I did a double sided print. So I will have something inside straight away. Uh, what you need to do with this, uh, it's just cut between and then you will have two uh, Two starters and we will continue with that this one i have printed on 300 gsm because i want to make this uh, like extra frames with extra tack so 300 gsm is perfect for that it's nice and strong and the tacks will be exactly the frames will be exactly so i'm gonna cut out one frame of this and i'm gonna cut between those two so I'm going to start with those booklets. My printer is printing images with that white frame all around. So uh, I cut the sheet between those two, those two booklets. One booklet, uh, I cut all that white frame around and I'm going to keep it this way. The other one, I left that white frame in there because I will actually use that not printed uh, edges as a fold which I will glue together so from this one I'm gonna make just simple booklet so I'm gonna fold it half I do have the double sided print and I choose kind of like universal print inside I choose grid print paper because I think it can be that you know you can flip it flap it any side any side you want and you still have good uh, space to write on even if you will have use if you will use it this way you can use it uh, you can write in those lines oh my explanation so i just fold it half i'm gonna open it i'm gonna use this crocodile on uh one eighth of inch and i'm gonna punch the holes here in those marks here and here I'm gonna take a knife and ruler and I'm gonna cut the slot between those two holes I 
like this. So here I do have slot. I'm gonna fold it half and take my ruler and measure the size of my uh, of this uh, front front piece. Uh, there are two files in the listing in that uh, in this listing with those frames. One is for A4 size paper. Here I do have actually those uh, empty frames. So one size of those files uh, in those files is for A4 size paper. The other one it's for US letter size paper. US letter size paper it's a little bit wider and shorter. So uh, in that US letter size uh, files, these images are exactly same, but because they are a little bit shorter because of the size of of that paper. And because that paper in the US on the US letter size it's wider than A4 uh, in that US letter size file, those images will have also extra small images on the side. There are some letters and numbers. It was just to fill that gap, you know, fill that paper. Do not leave there some empty spots. I don't like to waste paper, so that's why I added there just some numbers and letters. But these images will be exactly same. So measure how big, uh, not this way, this way, how big uh, place you have this. This is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. I'm gonna cut from another cardstock piece which I will glue here inside. So I do have here a piece of cardstock. Uh, I tea dyed this cardstock and it's in the size of my front uh, front panel slightly smaller to make sure I can close it without any issue I'm gonna put glue all around on the edge of this piece and I'm gonna glue it down and here I left even that inside image I didn't cut, cut it out this image I'm gonna keep it like it is this way gonna let it dry I'm gonna also use my sewing machine and I will sew it all around so I do have all sewing just all around I distressed also edges using ground espresso uh, distress ink from Ranger so I use it uh, I use that all around outside and inside as well and now just one tack slide it here and your simple booklet is done you can use any kind of stamps and labels and decorate it more this is just for base uh, here i do have uh, that other half and i didn't cut out uh, that white frame all around i'm gonna fold it half and it's still from that 170 gsm paper which is the kind of medium weight it's strong enough to create beautiful pocket it's strong enough to create extra you know holder for tax so I fold it half here I'm gonna use my scissors and cut this corner where is that white frame I should first use the ruler and some scoring tool so I've got a ruler and <laughs> I've got the scissors because I can't find my scoring tool, my small one. Uh, normal bone fo folder, it will be probably too big to score. So I'm going to use the tweezers and with this end because it does have a rounded edge. It doesn't have sharp edge. It does have a rounded edge so I can use it. You can use closed scissors if they are not too sharp here on the end. Closed scissors. And with closed scissors, you can go right next to your ruler and score these white frames. Uh, if your printer is printing with those white frames or with tweezers. I already tried that here, so I know I do have their scoring line. So score those white frames. If you have a printer which is printing on full 
uh, full sheet you will need to make extra folds that's what I'm gonna do here on the top so you will have to make on three sides I'm gonna take a piece of cardstock I'm gonna measure the half here half of my picture so it's right here here I do have some score line so I'm gonna use that score line and I'm gonna cut the piece using this and cut those corners so I do have piece like this which I will glue right here if you do have printer which is printing on full sheet without those white frames you will need to do this one here here and here on the bottom I can use that white frame so where I made those score lines using my tweezers and scissors I'm just gonna cut this here I do have cut it and uh, I don't need it on both sides I need it just on one side so I'm gonna use these and these I'm gonna cut off I've got some thread on my scissors so from here I'm gonna cut it off where I made that score line kind of like navigator for me here I do have that hinge or fold for the top I'm gonna cut the corner here as well before I will glue this one on my frame I'm gonna take knife and ruler and I'm gonna cut out the picture here so I do have ruler and knife and I will cut out the inside picture and there are two ways how you can cut it out you can cut just around the picture there is the edge just around the picture so you will end with the frame with two brown lines here or you can cut where is this uh, brown line all around and it will be, give you a little bit bigger inside tack like I did it here this picture is cut, cut exactly around that picture this one this one is cut it also with that first brown frame around the picture so here you can see I'm gonna flip it over so you can see this one which I cut with that brown frame around it's slightly bigger but both ways it works and I'm gonna show you the frames so here is the frame I uh, cut the picture include that first brown frame this one first brown frame this bigger picture and here is the frame where I cut the picture exactly around so it's really uh, you can't even notice that it doesn't matter so if you will feel more comfortable use these lines around the picture and cut that inside so I have cut out that inside frame I got now the base and my mini tag uh, I'm gonna cut a piece of acetate uh, on A4 size print the acetate is uh, the best size to cut piece of acetate is 5 and 5 eighths I will say 5 and 5 eighths a little bit less than 3 quarter 5 and 3 quarter so I've got my piece of acetate I forgot to cut the notch inside that line inside so I'm gonna punch these two holes on the end of that slot like this and again use a ruler and cut between like this now I can take my extra piece flip it over take a glue 
put a glue on my fold folded piece or a hinge or a side fold <laughs> I don't know how to say I'm gonna flip this over so I can see where I do have the edge and I'm gonna uh, fold I'm gonna glue it right here inside of my frame I'm gonna fold also these side white strips to make sure I can fold them later so I'm gonna prepare my piece okay it's folded is this glued I hope it's holding nicely now I can take my acetate piece I'm gonna take off the backing of that acetate piece And I'm gonna place this acetate piece. I'm gonna start right next to this uh, entry and cover that rest. Be careful, do not place your acetate piece. Oh, I think I made it too long. I made it too long. I think I didn't count properly. Okay, I'm gonna make a mark. Yes, I made <laughs> too long. So I have to make a mark for myself and cut it shorter. So I'm gonna tell you once I will cut. I think I counted for all that frame before. What I meant, you know, to cover all that frame. So five and one quarter, <laughs> not five and three quarters. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So five and one quarter and start to glue it right above that entry, that slot we cut here and cover that frame inside. Do not put your acetate over this fold or over this fold. Now fold these sides in, put there a glue. And fold that other half over it and glue it all together. We do have an entry because we cut that slot. So we have a chance to put something inside. Glue it all together. You can actually put a little bit of glue here on that bottom so it will hold properly it will don't get ripped off so here on the bottom you can put a little bit of glue and glue that bottom of that uh, slot to the paper so that way it will don't get ripped off and now we have beautiful holder for for our tags, photos. So you can just slide it inside like this. Use distress inks. Use maybe labels. I've got here those labels, label stickers. So maybe I can use some of them. So I would put some label sticker maybe here. And all around, why not? And maybe some another one. Which one? Oh, maybe this one. This is actually a good one. And I'm gonna place it right here. And fold it over. Then I will use distress ink and distress all the edges. So I have distressed all the edges with that ground espresso distress ink from Ranger. And now you can add their stamps and stamps. You can add uh, two ways where you do have one way. It's where you do have that entry on the bottom. So uh, stamp will be, you know, 
with writing here or you can totally flip it up like this and um, this reminds me <laughs> jeans pocket you know you will have entry from here so put your stamps this way to, to be readable you know read, uh, readable and you can use this pocket this way and you have beautiful insert to your uh, to your journals and I'm gonna grab the frames I have printed on that 300 GSM I'm gonna cut out those inside as well so I have cut out one frame including this slot I do have here prepared this second frame and first I'm gonna uh, decorate it somehow so I'm gonna use some labels and put the labels and some stamping so I'm gonna take one label here and I think I'm gonna just place it here in that corner hopefully I will remember I think I'm gonna oh, yeah. I put the hole here that's good because now I need to know <laughs> where is the hole is so here where i'm placing also label i already punched the hole so i can see from bottom i'm gonna actually help myself and make it visible so then i can cut between and as you can see i put the label also on the part of that image i'm gonna use also this label here and I think I'm gonna use part here hopefully it's straight you know with this line mm, probably like this cut and I'm gonna take this one carefully, get a bit on my knife, and place it right here in the corner, cl close to the corner. Oh, shoot! Stay. Ah, come on, stay. E -e -e. Now I can cut between those two holes which I made before I glued that label so I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna also cut out the picture inside so from hole to the hole like this and I'm gonna also cut out that uh, picture inside and I'm gonna use th this time I'm gonna use these uh, lines around because they will navigate me nicely where I should cut so here I'm gonna go kind of you know to match it kind of by eye ish And here with this line and then I can put them together so here I know I'm gonna take the scissors for help and just cut that end to the to the line so I know I can manage that if I don't see that and with few stamps of course uh, you can add their acetate piece and then uh, put a glue here 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 and here and place it on your page or make the pocket like this i use those stamps this way so my pocket will be from here but you can use it this way as well definitely we have a booklet we have beautiful tags here it's how it looks like one once is cut it from that from that uh, frame and I really like this look it's easy to do and the rest few ideas how you can use these frames I hope it was inspirational definitely don't forget to use your embossing folders because it can make you know it can make such a beautiful impact like this one or 
hair embossed effect. Use those acetate pieces or not, they can make another perfect, you know, <laughs> spot for your tax. So this is my sharing for today. Uh, this is especially for my Etsy listing. Uh, link will be down below if you like those frames. I hope you will like them and I hope you will use them in your journals. Also with these booklets, uh, you can kind of extend it also for that booklet with a pocket. So this is my sharing for today. Thank you so, so much for jumping in. Thank you so much for visiting me and spending your time with me today. I wish you a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will, I will see you soon. Bye.